Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, the iTeach channel. And today we're going to have our number two in cash review session. So let us start. Number 11. A devastating typhoon hit the province of Pampanga. Classes at all levels were suspended. Government offices were suspended too. What should you do right after the typhoon? A. Visit the teach or allow the teacher to go home. B. Visit the school and take note of the damages incurred. C. Call up the division office and ask for help. D. Stay at home and rest. The correct answer is letter B. Visit the school and take note of the damages incurred. Number 12. The manner of doing activities in the simplest and most orderly fashion for the purpose of saving time and effort is referred to as routine. What are the basic principles governing activities? A. Disciplining of students inside a classroom. B. Provision for sufficient practice and definite directions. C. Setting of a purpose or motive of the, for the activity. D. Creation of meaning in the materials to be utilized. The correct answer is letter A, disciplining of students inside the classroom. Authoritative style of classroom management is best described in the hands of an expert teacher, except for one, A, it, encar it may encourage independence, warmth, and nurturing, B, the best form of classroom management is most clearly associated with appropriate student behavior. C. It is non-punitive and the teacher has few demands on the student and appears generally uninterested. D. In the hands of an expert teacher can produce students who will, socially, who will be socially competent and responsible. The correct answer is letter C. It is non-punitive and the teacher has few demands on the students and appears generally uninterested. Number 14. Permissive or indifferent is one of the teachers, is one in which teachers show a lot of involvement in the classroom. What is not true? In the following description of this management style, A, the students instead enjoy a lot of freedom. B, the teacher has few demands on the student and appears generally uninterested. C, the teacher feels the class preparation is worth the effort. D, the teacher using this style may possess a character that is cold and even punishing. So, which is not true. The correct answer is letter D. The teacher using this style may possess a character that is cold and even punishing. 15. What should be the average grade of learners from grades 1 to 12 to get the Academic Excellence Award? A. At least 90 and passed all the learning areas. B. At least 95 and passed all learning areas. C. At least 98 and passed all learning areas. D. At least 85 and passed all learning areas. The correct answer is, of course, at least 90 and passed all learning areas. And that is letter A. Number 16, recognition for perfect attendance is given at the end of every quarter to encourage learners to attend 
and actively participate in class except for one. A. Perfect attendance means that a learner must be present in all of his or her classes. B. Must have no absences for the entire quarter. C. Learners who are representing the school for various purposes. D. A learner must be present in all of his or her classes regardless of tardiness. The correct answer is letter D. A learner must be present in all of his or her classes regardless of tardiness. Number 17. Awards for outstanding performance in specific discipline are given to recognize learners in grade 6. What are these? A. Athletics, Arts, Communication Arts. B. Communication Arts, Mathematics and Science. C. Social Sciences and Technical Vocational Tech Book. D. Immersion in Research or Innovation. The correct answer is Work Immersion in Research or Innovation. That's for grade 12. Number 18. In the observation of flag lowering ceremonies every Friday afternoon, the ceremony shall be and shall include the playing or singing of the Philippine national anthem. A. Joyful and dignified. B. Simple and dignified. B. Glamorous and gracious. D. Pretentious and exalted. The correct answer is, it must be simple and dignified. That's letter B. The following conditions are strongly suggested for Muslim Filipino women wearing the veil hired as a live teacher except for one. A. Wearing a veil covering the entire face is allowing outside the school once the Ustudha is in the school is in the classroom. She's requested to remove the veil for the following reasons. C for proper identification of the of the teachers by principals, parents, and the police. D in support of the effective language teaching and recognition and discrimination of letters in their sound are enhanced. So what's the reason? Oh, so this is letter B. Once the Ustudha, Ustadha is in the classroom, she is requested to remove the veil for the following reasons. Okay, so the correct answer is letter C. So this is not included for the proper identification of the teachers, by the principal parents and the police. It's not. Next, 20. It is designed for senior high school learners who intend to pursue higher education or career along four specific strands which specialize curricular offering under a particular track. A, academic track. B, technical vocational livelihood tracks. C, Arts and Design Track, D, Sport Track. This is for specialized curricular. The answer is letter A, Academic Track. And that ends our session for today. Thank you so much. I would like to give credit to the rightful owner of this review material, Dr. Erich David Garcia, thank you so much. So please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel. Together, we are going to reach our dreams to be the school leaders. Thank you.